computer science. This is the last session of this lesson. You can remember what you have studied in the last classes. Let us have a recap of the lesson. We have studied about the features of federalism, then the types of uh, federations, then what makes India a federal country. That all you have studied, isn't it? In this session, we are going to discuss about the decentralization process, constitutional amendment in 1992, rural local government, and the urban local government. You know that India is a vast country with a lot of diversities, isn't it? And in terms of population, some states in our country, they are very much bigger than some of the countries in the world, such as France, Belgium, France, etc. So, there is a need of power sharing. Our constitution recognized the need of power sharing. So, they have taken a lot of measures to divide the power. Here we can see the decentralization process. What is decentralization? When power is taken away from the central government and given it to the local government is known by the name decentralization. So what is decentralization? When power of a central and the state government is taken away and given it to the local government. This process is known by the name decentralization. Actually what is the need of a decentralization? Because of the vastness of our states in size and their population. Then you know that India is generally diverse. Everywhere we can see the diversity. So, uh, to reduce that one or to control or to administer them easily, we need good power sharing. And at the same time, we all we can see the need of power sharing because of the vastness of the country. Then, what is the basic idea behind decentralization? We can solve the problems at the local level itself. There are a large number of problems and issues that we can solve at the local level itself. There is no need to consult the officials in the central or the state level. We can solve all these problems in the state, sorry, local level itself. Then, the people in the local area, they have a better knowledge about the problems in that particular locality. They know where to spend money and how to manage your things effectively. And we can see that this process helps the people to take part in the decision making process more easily. So it is to realize one of the most important principles of democracy, local government. So what is the basic idea behind a decentralization? Because people of a particular area, they have better knowledge about the items or the things in that particular or the problems in that particular area. Then they have better knowledge where to spend money and how to manage things effectively. And above all, they can take part in the decision making process. So we can see that our constitution recognizes need of power sharing and they have taken a lot of measures to divide the power between power uh, or to give the power to the local government. But we can see that the elections are not conducting regularly in the panchayat or the lo uh, local level and at the same time they don't have enough resources and power. So to make the decentralization process more effective, 1992 the constitution was amended. A lot of provisions were made to make the administrative system in the local government more effective. So which are the important provisions? The first one, it is mandatory to hold regular elections to the local government. They make compulsory to conduct the elections in the local self-government bodies. Then, reservation of seats for SC, ST and OBCs. A lot of seats were reserved for special reservation like they want to schedule the car, schedule tribes and other backward communities. 
Then one third of positions were reserved for women candidates. We know that the participation of women in all the fields it is very less. So to improve that one or to increase that, one third positions were reserved for women. Then for the smooth conducting of the election, they appointed an independent election commission. It is mainly for to conduct elections in all the local government bodies. And the last one, it is designed to share the power of the uh, local government. Sorry. It is designed to share the power of state government to local government bodies. So, once again, which are the important steps taken by the constitutional amendment? First one, conducting regular election. Second one, reservation and offer seats for SEs and STs. Then seats were reserved for women, then election commission, then sharing of power to the local government bodies. Then come to the local governments in rural area. We can see that there are three levels. The first one is at the village level. They are not within any grammar panchayat. Then the second one, panchayat samadhi, it is at the block level. And the last one, Shila Parishad, it is at the district level. So, let us discuss in detail the first one at the village level. We can see that each village or a group of villages, they have a Brahma Panchayat. And all the adults of that particular area in that village, they have the right to select the representatives. And the members of these representative body are elected by the people in that village. This body works under the overall supervision of Grama Safa. The members of this Grama Safa are the voters in that particular village. And it is compulsory to conduct the meeting of Grama Safa twice or thrice in a year. It is mainly done to supervise the functioning of Grama Sapa and at the same time to pass the annual budget. The members of uh, this Grama Panchayat were the ward members, they were known by the name Panch and the president who is popularly known as Sar Panch. So once again, village level, Grama Panchayat Local government body, it is a Grama Panchayat. They work under the supervision of Grama Safa, and all the adults in that particular village, they are the members, they, they have the right to select the elected body. And the members of this Grama Panchayat were the Panch, that means the ward members and president, who is known by the name Sir Panch. Then come to the next level, that is block level. Several Grama Panchayats together constitute Panchayat Samudhi Block or Mandal. So, several Grama Panchayats together constitute Panchayat Samudhi Block or Mandal. And the members of these elected body were elected by the Panchayat members. So, they were the People who selecting the members of this electric body. And who is the uh, head of this block level, uh, local government body? Block Development Office. Then, several uh, Panchayat Samudis together constitute is the district level Shila Parishad. Shila Parishad. The members of this Shila Parishad were. Elected members and are members of Lok Sabha and at the same time MLAs of a particular district. And the head of this Srila Parishad is Srila Parishad Chairperson. So it is about the rural local government body. Okay, local self government in the rural area. Once again, village level, Grama Panchayat, block level, Panchayat Samudhi, and district level it is Srila Parishad. Then, village level headed by Sarvesh, block level, block development officer, and the district level in the Shila Parishad chairperson. Then come to the urban area. 
Local government body we can see in the urban areas also. In towns we can see this in the form of municipalities and big cities constitute municipal corporations. Okay. So in towns we can see municipalities and big cities municipal corporation. The members of both these local government body or these are controlled by the elected body and they were elected by the people. Then the head of the municipality that is municipal chairperson. Then in corporation mayor is the head. So once again in urban area local self-government body it is known by the name municipality and municipal corporation. Municipality head is uh, municipal chairperson and the municipal corporation it is the mayor. So let us have a recap of the session. We have studied about decentralization process. Then, in, what is the basic idea behind decentralization? Then about the constitutional amendment. Then the local self government body in urban area and the rural area. Above all, you can see that this decentralization is one of the most important experiments that we have done in democracy in the world. We can see that more than 36 lakh representatives are there in panchayats and municipalities all over the country. It is much bigger than the population in some of the countries in the world. Actually, decentralization process how to deepen the democratic principles in our country. And it, it led to increase the support of or the participation of women in the political field. So, we can see women or it helped to increase the participation of women in the political field. But at the same time, we can see that some difficulties are there that are Grammar are not held regularly in almost all the local government bodies. And at the same time, some of the state governments are not ready to share their power with the local governments. Then also, the decentralization process is very much effective in throughout the country for the easier administration. So this much only in this session, let us come to the assessment area. You have to find out state two achievements and two problems of the Panchayat Raj system. Then, how are constitutional changes made in a federal system? Then, why should our pressure this for? Try to find out the answer of this question. We can make in the next session. Till then.